Hello everyone, my name is Hannah, and today we have a box with some surprise butterfly chrysalises inside. And this is very exciting, because I don't know what kind of butterflies we're going to get until we open the box up. So, it says, open immediately, live insects, plants, enclosed. So, we have insects in here, because that's what we ordered, not plants, but they put that sticker on all of them, and so here's a knife right here, so I'm going to have to be careful with this, because I don't want to cut myself, but I'm going to use it to try to cut the tape open, okay, there we go, there we go, There's some tape right here that hasn't been cut, so I'm trying to get this tape cut. There we go. I lifted it up. Oops. I lifted it up, but it went back down. There we go. Okay. And over here is some more tape, just like that tape I just got rid of. So I'm trying to cut it over too. So here are the instructions of what to do, and they have all the instructions. So yeah, this is not the first time ordering Christmases, so we, I don't really kind of know what to do. Here's the box. I mean, it's not. Well, there's a box in this silver bag right here. So let's try to jump and open it up. I think I should open it up right here. So I hope the Christmas is on the hook for me. Wow, this is really sticky. Here we are, I opened it up. Okay. Here we go. So we're not gonna just immediately see the crystal this. This is the box. And now they have these things on it. So I guess it's just to keep it cool so it doesn't get too hot. And so yeah, I can't believe we pay $120 for this. But let's open it up. It got some tape on it, and I'm so excited to see what kinds of butterflies we have in here. Okay. Okay, let's hope that we got all the kinds that I wanted. Ew, look at this. Is this a red spotted purple? Or, let's see, is this a red spotted purple? Or a viceroy? I don't know. Because red spotted purple vi. So we're just, I don't know what kind this one is. We're just going to have to wait till it hatch. Because did you know that red spotted purple butterflies and viceroy butterflies are so closely related? So I'm trying to get the camera to focus. There it is. They're so closely related together that their chrysalises and caterpillars look almost exactly the same. And the viceroy, both the viceroys and um, red spotted purples are mimics of another butterfly. Red spotted purples are mimics of the pipevine swallowtail. And viceroys are mimics of the monarch. And a lot of people mistake viceroys for monarch butterflies. So even the chrysalises and caterpillars look 
very, very similar. So we're not going to know if that's a Viceroy or a Red Spot or a Purple to Hatches, and I hope it's a Viceroy. The Viceroy, they're so closely related that they have even made a hybrid butterfly. Hybrids mixed between two animal species. Ooh, look at this. We have two swallowtail chrysalises. It says giant swallowtail. Wow, I was hoping these would be eastern tigers. This is a zebra long one. Red spotted. Okay, here, this one says red spotted purple, so I guess this might be a red sp I guess that's a red spotted purple, because there's only one chrysalis in here, and I guess that one right there is one that fell out, so I guess these are both red spotted purples. And I'm not going to say savvy, because I'm not, they're not bad. So there's red spotted purples. These are giant swallowtails. I was hoping they would get eastern tiger swallowtails, but no, they got giant ones. This time they got two giant swallowtails, which is good. Last time they only gave one. So yeah, see these in the, the last ones remaining are painted ladies, red animals, and common butterflies. So it's generally open up to zebra and long wings. <laughs> So, they're taking the cotton away. So last time we ordered this set, um, the we had one giant swallowtail, and she hatched out. But just very shortly after she hatched, she started dying. I don't know what happened. She just like she hatched on like an hour after she hatched. She was on her way to death and. She started not being able to fly and stuff, and all kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't know what happened. Hopefully this doesn't happen with these swallowtails. This right here is our zebra longly. Like the previous video posted that I posted not a long time ago shows has like the fall zebra longly and the, and the zebra longly. And this is the Christmas of the zebra longly. And you see it has those little sparkly dots on it like gold and that's beautiful right there and so a lot of people kill butterflies to make jewelry so i hope people don't kill these chrysalis to make jewelry so yeah this is our zebra longwing and we have one more zebra longwing so let me get the other zebra longwing out Like last time we ordered this, only one zebra longwing hatched. The other ones got transparent but never hatched. So hopefully all of them hatch out. So I got another zebra longwing Christmas, and then like the first one is not ordering. Okay, good. Now it started wiggling. At first it wasn't wiggling, but then it started wiggling. So both of them are alive. That's good. So yeah, I'm going to put it on here. <coughs> How? We're not going to giant swallow till the out. Okay, here is one giant swallowtail chrysalis, and it's wiggling. This is body wiggling. This, these are beautiful butterflies. Hopefully, if it hatches. It does really good, unlike the one that we ordered previously. The second giant swallowtail crystals seems to appear, appear to be small compared to the first one. But I can't really tell because it's still wrapped up. I'm just going to get it out for a second. Yeah, this one is really small compared to the other one. Yeah. So, you know, most butterflies is the females that are larger. So, I wonder if that means that we could have a male and a female. Or a boy and a girl one. 
So here it is. And it's small, much smaller than the first one. Okay. So yeah, I really wanted it to be the red animals. Oh, I mean, we do have red animal in here, which is great. But I wanted the, um, I'm trying to say I wanted, like last time we ordered red spotted purples from Shady Oak. All of them, except for two, like we ordered five and I think three of them didn't hatch. No, I remember like we ordered five and three hatch and two didn't hatch. Yeah, that was it. Yay, we got some red animals in here, which is really exciting. And so, yeah, um, the other ones that did hatch were deformed, sadly. So I made some videos of them. And I still got it, but they're on my other tablet. Here is the red animal. And it's not wiggling. Oh, there it goes, not wiggling. A lot of them were not wiggling at first, but then wiggling when I touch it. And it has a little bit of gold on it, too. So I'm going to put the red animal over here. And there's another red animal. So yeah, and we got Common Buckeyes and Painted Lady, which are both related. So I expect these two to hatch out reddish. Because there's something I never know about Common Buckeyes. You know, Common Buckeyes in the wild are hatch out like with smaller eye spots. And they are dark. I mean, they are... They hatch out with smaller eye spots, and their hind wings, when closed, are like a sandy brown color. And with common black eyes in captivity, their hind wings, when closed, are always like a reddish color, and they have bigger eye spots than the one in the wild. And so that has always happened with each with each common black eye having in captivity. And so I don't know what is about being in captivity that causes the ones in captivity to have reddish hind wings and bigger eye spots, and the ones in the wild to have smaller eye spots and a sandy brown color. So yeah, we have this common back eye crystals and it is wiggling. So sorry about my hand shaking. Like I have this habit um, that I'm trying to break this habit that whenever I'm holding a butterfly and I'm super excited while I'm holding it, my hand starts shaking because my hands just start shaking out of extreme excitement. And so I'm sorry about that. I'm working with trying to break that habit. Like once I had a butterfly, I was holding a butterfly outside and it surprised me so much. I was super excited and I shook my hand so much that he ended up flying off. And so yeah. I'm trying to break that habit, if I can break it, hopefully I will break it. Yeah, I'm trying not to shake my hands, I hold the other part in back eye. Here it is, and it's wiggling too. So, yeah, we got all the other butterflies out. The last ones to get out are the painted lady. And we know they're alive. Look, I'm just holding it in the cotton ball, and they already, I can already feel them wiggling inside. And I haven't even got them out yet. <laughs> Both of them are wiggling. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this wiggly one out. And it's kind of goldish. Really pretty. Can't wait for them to hatch. And like I have, I made up a little song called "Shake, Shake, Shake." And when I see these crystals wiggling, it always makes me want to sing that song. And so you can see it has a little bit of gold in it too. Like the song goes like "Shake, Shake, Shake." We're shaking up today. <laughs> so when I see the crystals is wiggling, I'd be like "Shake, Shake, Shake." We're shaking. Again, today, so yeah, that's what the song goes like. And this is the second one, which is also wiggling a lot, just like the first one. Let me pull it out so I don't have it.
I'm trying to get this on. There's some very mean cats in the cutting bar. So yeah, I was really hoping to get Eastern Tire Swallow Tails, but today we got Giant Swallow Tails. I was hoping to get Rice Wise instead of getting Rice Wise. We got their clothes relative to Red Spotted Purple. Um, and they said morning clothes were in the set, but I was hoping to get them. They're the longest living butterflies in the world, if they just avoid predators and cars and stuff. And they live a, y a year long, so I was really hoping to get those. None of them came in, sadly. But at least we got something. I'm trying to detach detach this painted lady right here. This one is really odd and like ugly one. So I might I have some scissors, so I'm just gonna jelly cut the card ball. Don't worry, I'm not going to cut the crystals itself. Let's see. For those of you who are really worried, I'm gonna cut the crystals itself, don't worry. I'm just gonna Cut the cotton ball off. And there's the Christmas unharmed in the room. Oops, I dropped it. So, let's count all our Christmases and make sure that we're supposed to have um, 12 Christmases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, 12 Christmases! So, we're going to be hanging these guys up next. <coughs> and so, let me show you um, Polyphemus moth. So, we have no adult Polyphemus moths, but in here we have this cocoon of a Polyphemus moth that I found outside. Like, we were, um, like, we went into a, a, a graveyard or something, um, just to replace the flowers at somebody's. Great. And we found, and I found a leaf while I was walking, and I picked it up, and on the other side, this cocoon was in the leaf. And I was like, wow, cocoon, and I was so excited. And so here it is. And sometimes when I pick it up, I can feel it wiggling inside. Like right now, I just felt it wiggle just a little bit. So yeah, and we got two more Polyphemus moth cocoons. And he appears that I also found in the wild. Hang it up. And so yeah, we're gonna one day we're gonna take them from this net, put them in a different place. This is just temporarily. And so yeah, this is the polyphene from cocoon with that stick because you can see it hatches out and crawls up. So yeah. That's what that stick was for. But um I think I think it's a good idea to hang the chrysalises up because we got twelve and this is enough room for twelve chrysalises. And so, yeah, we could hang it up with the polyphemus moth, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to put this on the other side. And there's clips on it to hold the net. Because, um, without, like, the clips, the net won't zip up. Put it in. Put it at the bottom. And we got humidifier, a humidifier on because... And we we really have four and not just three, but one of them is not looking very good. It's super dry despite me spraying it and it seems it has a crack in it, but um it hasn't the crack hasn't been getting bigger as it has been. It's a male. The crack hasn't been getting big as it's been coming out. So, yeah. Got the end of it. But the other two, um, for that one, I know she's healthy. She or he. Um, sometimes I just assume it's a male, cause, I mean, a female, because the cocoon case. <coughs> sometimes I just assume it's a female, because the cocoon. 
one kind of just bigger than the other one, but I don't know. It could be in there. So that's here she. And for the other two that are hanging up, I'm not just gonna. <coughs> I'm not just gonna assume they're healthy. I hope they're healthy. But I haven't heard any wiggling when I picked them up and hand them and stuff, so I don't know if they're healthy or not. Like if they're healthy and nothing's wrong, they're just deciding not to wiggle, or if they're not healthy. So yeah, but hopefully they are healthy and not like on outside. So here are our chrysalises, and it's good to see both. So giant sauce is wiggling, so I won't be, I won't start to worry if they start stop wiggling in the next few days, because that's what happened to the other one that we had. He, or he had stopped wiggling, like a few for a few days it stopped wiggling, and one day I sprayed it and it actually wiggled, unlike before. And just to get into that, I got up. See a newly emerged, fall, I mean not polyphenol, but newly emerged giant sauce. That's the one that died like an hour after it hatched. So yeah. So yeah, here are Christmases. And they've been traveling for a long, so I'm gonna spray them with the spray bottle. There we go. Just cut them all moist. And now we're going to prepare to hang them up. So here is some of the cotton that we got that came with the butterflies and so we use this to glue the chrysalises up onto so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a little piece of the cotton off Hand. So for the giant swallowtails, here it is. So for the giant swallowtails, we're just going to hang them up like we hang normal butterflies up. So last time we tried to hang it up in the way that we hanged them up in the wild, but that's the one that came out and didn't make it. So I don't know if. We had hung it wrong or what killed the butterfly. I don't know, like, it had, like, some kind of red stuff coming out of its body and all kinds of stuff. I mean, like, when they come first, when they first come out their chrysalis, they release this liquid called meconium. That, and that's completely normal. Many people mistake it for poop. And, like, um, I see a lot of videos on the internet. Like, if you Google butterflies pooping, all these videos come up on YouTube where they say, butterflies pooping, pooping butterflies. And so, yeah, then they always show it while they're coming out their chrysalis. But, so, yeah, that's not poop. That's just meconium. Like, sometimes they don't always show it while the butterflies are coming out their chrysalis. Sometimes they'll show it with a newly emerged butterfly. And, um... Or just with the butterfly of any kind, but normally when they show a video saying butterfly pooping or peeing, just to let you know it's not poop or pee, it's just meconium. So we're going to start hanging up the chrysalises on that stick that we got for the polyphemus moth. So we got four cotton balls of glue on the stick, and we're going to start with one of the Vanessa's. So... I choose out of both Vanessa's the red animal. So the reason why I'm saying Vanessa's, one of the Vanessa's, is because both red animals and painted ladies' scientific name starts with Vanessa. So I don't know. If there's a person named Vanessa that found that this that discovered these butterflies, but there that is like the the beginning of the scientific name. Red Adderall Butterfly's scientific name is Vanessa Atalanta, and the scientific name of the um, Painted Lady is Vanessa Cardini. So the Painted Ladies tend to shake a whole lot, and sometimes they can be hard to glue up. See? For our Red Animals, they aren't as shaky, although they do shake, but not as shaky as the um, Painted Ladies. So we're going to start with one of them. So yeah, we weren't able to video us to glue it up. The cotton balls and whatnot to be able to do the Christmas either, but I'll try. 
Okay, everyone, so I successfully got the first rare animal, Christmas, hanging up, and this is what it looks like. So, yeah. Then we're gonna get the other rare animal on this branch. Right here, so sorry that the focus is not good. I'm not holding the stick up with my hand, I'm holding it up with my legs. And, so, yeah. There it is. So, we're gonna get the second one hanging up. So. So here we are. Now we have two red spotted, I mean, red animals hanging up. Now down here we got two cotton balls again. And this is going to be for the painted lady. So they're the really wiggly ones. See the painted ladies on here soon. Okay, everyone, so now I'm back. So yeah, I said I was gonna do the paint laser next, but then I just decided to put all the butterfly Christmases on there except for the giant salt tails instead of just making videos in between. And so yeah, so the red atom I have put on the top. Like we hang we hung all the Christmases up kinda awkwardly where in a way that if you turn the stick in one direction where um all the Christmases at the top would be good. Then the two Z belongings at the bottom were not good. And so I ended up having to take them off and re-glue them to a different part of the stick. And so now they're good. But then when I turned the stick to the way that they were good, the um, red atom at the top wasn't good anymore. So it was very awkward. So I um, replaced the red the red. Spotted. I mean, not the red spotted purple, the red admiral that was at the top. I replaced it, I moved it, and glued it. I re glued it um, on the lower spot where it was good. And so, yeah, now finally it's in the way where each and every Christmas is good all at the same time. And so, yeah. But we still got the giant swallow tails to do that. So, we're going to glue them on a different thing. On a different thing, because I'm going to glue them on a different stick or something. Oh, it's too big. I mean, not too big, there's just not enough room. So here are all the Christmases. These are the cotton black eyes. And there's the zebra long wing. And another zebra long wing right there. And there's the red spotted purple. And there's the other red spotted purple. Um, there's a painted lady. And then there's a red admiral. And. The other painted ladies on the other side, so you can't really see it that good. There it is. Then the red animal. So yeah. So and these are the giant swallow tails that we haven't hung up yet. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of the hang these up. Okay, everyone. So we finally put the swallow tail. Um on something so we got them on the cardboard and both of them are hanging up so yeah the bigger one that I assume is a female was really shaky and the smaller one I assume is a male was not shaking as much so yeah I hope like sometimes Christmases will still be alive they just prefer not to shake that much um cuz um, sometimes like they'll shake a lot until they realize they're actually hanging up and stuff so yeah, but remember the other one I was talking about last time that you know it died, it stopped shaking like a few days, for a few days before it hatched, so perhaps that could be a good sign. So let me show you how things are. So there are the swallow tails, they're like just the way they were, the, the way they would be if they were in the wild, but pointed down instead. And then all the other butterfly pieces are on the branch. So yeah, so now we got everybody set up. And we're going to close it, and I'll regularly be giving you update videos, like, if anything happens. Like, as long as everything's all fine, there's, um, really nothing cool get, getting, going on, I'm not going to be, um, uploading a video about these. But if I notice, like, someone being transparent, or a Chris's hatched, or anything like that, I'll give you an update on it. But that's how we hung up the Chrysalises, and... We're going to see what happens in the past few days. And Painted Lady Christmases take the shortest time to hatch. I heard that they hatch in nine days. And so that's how long they take to hatch. So we don't know when they pupate inside of the Shady Oak Butterfly Place. So we can be expecting them to hatch any time. But that's how our Christmases are. And see you guys whenever 
um, whenever we have some great news to share on those Christmases. Bye.